So hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be doing a makeup look that I've been loving for fall slash winter um, and this is what it looks like. So stay tuned if you'd like to see what I use to get to this point. Um, there are cats running around in the background so I'm just going to apologize ahead of time for that. Um, also, I would love to do some hair tutorials, especially now that I have shorter hair. Um, I got it cut a couple months ago, like 10 inches, so I basically had to relearn how to do my hair. Um, and so if that's something you would want to see, let me know because I would love to do some hair tutorials. So I'm going to go ahead and just zoom you all in so you can see what I'm doing with the eyes. So I'm just going to take my concealer. It is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 260. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my eyes. So next I'm going to take my Laura Mercier setting powder, um, the translucent one, and I'm just going to set the concealer that I just put on my lids. I've been doing this to prime the eyes. I don't use like an eyeshadow primer, so this is what I do um, to prime them. So now that they're all set and primed, I am going to go ahead and go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. It has been out for a while, but I have really been loving this palette for fall and winter looks. So let's go ahead and we're going to go in with the Morphe M504 brush. Um, and I'm just going to take these two shades right here and I'm just going to blend that onto the eye. Okay, so now that that is all set onto the eyes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade right here. It's kind of a butterscotchy shade is how I describe it. And I'm going to open up my little rollout brush kit. My boyfriend actually got this for me and I absolutely love it. It has most of what I need the only other brushes that I use outside of this are like two Morphe eyeshadow brushes um, but I'm going to this is from Sephora by the way I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow brush it says it's the blending crease brush um, and I'm just going to take that butterscotchy shade on this more so outer part of my eye So now I'm just going to go in with that same brush. I don't really mind if the colors mix a tiny bit. Um, and I'm going to take this shade and place it in a little bit more of the lower part of the crease and just blend that inward. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two shades right here and just add a little bit more of a brown into this look. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend this out with the very first brush that we used. The thing that I like about doing the eyes first is that 
you can have fun with blending it out blend it out as much as you want because you can always touch it up when we do the concealer and the face so you don't have to worry too much about getting like outside of the lines per se so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this brush and we are going to go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna take this more on the middle part of the lid same thing with the other eye And now I'm going to take the shade right next to it, this gold shade here. And with that same brush, I don't really mind if the colors mix because I want them to be mixed on my eye anyway. So, with that same brush, do the same thing to the other eye. More towards the inner part. Okay, so... Um, now, if need be, just make sure everything is blended once more before we move on. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get started on the face. I have already primed and done all of that good stuff, moisturized. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and get started on the face. So, I have really been loving the Fenty Beauty um, hydrating Longwear Foundation in the shade 260. I have really been enjoying this because my skin has been so dry. Um, and as you might be able to see, there's like quite a bit, I don't know if you can tell, quite a bit of redness right here. Um, and it's just been super dry. It gets worse with the winter months, but also I have started some acne medication. which has really contributed to drying out my skin. But it is working, it's getting better. So, I was using the Fenty um, Pro Filter, the matte one, and I just wanted to switch to a more hydrating one because right now my skin needs all the hydration it can get. is all blended out I'm going to go ahead and go in with the same concealer I was using earlier brighten up those under eyes okay so now I'm just going to blend this all together If you hear cats running around in the background, um, I have two of them, and they're crazy. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes just going to blend this out just a little more and I'm going to go underneath the eyes with the first two shades that we used I cannot handle my hair down any longer. I always have it up when I do 
my makeup. That is so much better. I cannot handle it down. Okay. Now I am just going to take this brush and the metallic shades and just pop them onto the middle and front parts of my eye. And there we go. So now I'm going to take the glow kit from Anastasia and just pop the shade Summer on my inner corner here. And now I'm just going to finish the face. So let's go in with that little rolly kit that I was talking about earlier. And I'm just going to start on the bronzer. So I'm using the L'Oreal, there we go, the L'Oreal Lumi True Match Bronze It Bronzer. Um, and I'm using this shade Medium. So I'm using this angled brush and a little tip for you guys is don't like if you're doing I kind of use my bronzer as like a bronzer and contour in one um, I like to contour just a little bit with it mostly using it to warm up the face but a little tip for contour is do don't change the shape of your face so don't do this even though it's really tempting um because when you're walking like when your face is resting it's going to look different so try to really like look for where and just kind of play with where to contour And I like to do a little bit of contouring on the jawline and then I bring it down the neck just to warm up. Make sure that I don't have a line. Alright, and so now I'm going to go in with the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. And I'm going to take this brush from my little Sephora kit. And I go in a little ham with this uh, because I find that blush is the first thing to go on me as it is with most people. And I take a little bit on the nose. That's personal preference, of course. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the glow kit that I mentioned earlier. I'm going to mix the shades bronze and summer together. a little on the tip of the nose and I like to do these sort of motions to kind of make it look like it's coming from within rather than um, rather than looking really like a, a bold strip of it and highlight the brow bone okay speaking of brows I am going to go ahead and do those so here is the Ulta Beauty Sculpting Brow Pencil. I'm just going to brush up those brow hairs. So I finished the brows off camera. Um, I actually ran out of storage 
on my card so I went ahead and finished those um, so now all that we have left is mascara and lips so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the milk kush mascara I'm then trying out this little mini and I've really enjoyed it um, I will say that it does transfer a little bit on me sometimes um, but that's the only negative thing I have about it. My all-time favorite is still L'Oreal Lash Paradise, so after I'm done with this, I probably will be going back to that just because I love that mascara so much. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and do the lashes. She wanted to say hi, but she didn't. It's fine. Do you want to say hi? Simba. So, Simba wants to say hi. You want to say hi? Look, say hi. <laughs> He's my little cuddle buddy, and she's my little sassafras. Um, their names are Simba and Nala. Nala's running around somewhere. My mom jokes that we should have named him Snuggles and uh, Nala Sassafras, and that totally would have been such appropriate names. All right, go play. Go find your sissy. Or you can sit in my lap, that's fine. He's just gonna sit in my lap now, I guess. Okay, oh, there's Nala. Nala, say hi. <laughs> She's probably gonna climb the tree here in a minute. Now all I'm going to do is my lips and set the face. So let's go ahead and set the face with the Lori No. Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I am just going to set the parts that are a little oily throughout the day. Okay. Now, um, we're just gonna do the lips, and I have the Prestige Lip Liner in the shade Spice. Okay. So, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Sienna Supreme L'Oreal Matte Lipstick. I love the formula of these lipsticks. Um, my boyfriend actually um, picked out this lipstick. Funny story. I went to the store and we were standing in the makeup and I was like, if I asked you to go to the store, what lipstick would you pick? And he was like, I really like this shade on you, even though I haven't like really seen you wear it. And I was like, okay, I'll try it out. And I really like it. Um, I like that it is not drawing but it is matte i love this lipstick so this is the finished look um a couple things that are interchangeable the lip is definitely interchangeable depending on what i'm wearing but i've really been loving this lipstick with this eye look and with colors like this um i hope you can put up with the cats in the background i know they're a little crazy and the other thing that's kind of interchangeable, my hair definitely depends on what I'm doing, but this is what I've been doing for my makeup for the most part. I know it seems like it takes a while, but actually if I'm not like trying to explain everything um, in detail, it doesn't take as long. And like I said before, I am not a makeup artist. This is just what I like to do every kind of every day. Um, a couple of things are interchangeable, but this is the look that I've really been loving for fall slash winter. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my very first video and I will be back with more. <laughs>